Time now for Media Watch, a look at what's been making news in the Chinese media. Social networking website Facebook is blocked on the mainland, and here's a possible reason why. Police in Hong Kong, where the internet is not monitored, are trying to trace members of a Facebook group which appeared to call for a mass suicide. Nearly 190 people joined the group, which allegedly urged them to kill themselves on December 21st. Attention was first drawn to the site by a student who told social workers about it after actually attempting suicide. The South China Morning Post said the person who started the group had written that it was meant to be a joke, but some members of the group's members reportedly shared possible suicide methods and asked for people to join them in dying. About 3,300 students there have broken a Guinness World Record by making a giant finger painting featuring anti-drug messages in Victoria Park. 200 police volunteers helped the students create the giant painting, which measures close to 23,000 square feet. An adjudicator from Guinness announced the breaking of the record upon completion of the painting, which will be replicated in banners and displayed across the SAR at various places, including immigration checkpoints and schools. Non-Chinese citizens who have been living on the Chinese mainland for over one year may soon be able to buy an apartment in Guangdong province. There is one condition, though, and that's that the home must be for personal use and not for rental or business purposes. A provincial draft regulation announced last week is now canvassing public opinion on the matter. If approved, it would allow all overseas companies, except real estate ones, to purchase property. But under new regulations, Chinese citizens renting to foreigners without a valid passport or visa visa could face a fine. On the flip side, though, those who provide information of any illegal entry, stay, residence or work will be rewarded. Now, the owners of a Taiwanese newspaper have been fined more than $15,000 for using graphic online animations to illustrate crime stories. Apple Daily's Motion News was deemed to have broken child protection laws by using the format to reconstruct stories of child abuse and violence. Taipei Mayor Hao Lungping said he respected press freedom, but the media had to show restraint. The Motion News service was recently launched last week online and on cell phones, but instead of using images or videos, it posted computer animations which recreated robberies, rapes, violent attacks and child abuse in vivid detail. The paper has apologised and said it would tone down the animations from now on. Six villagers in Yunnan province in southwest of China have gone on trial at a local court charged with eating a rare tiger. The Chongqing Evening News reported that prosecutors are also pushing for a fine of more than $70,000 for killing a protected species. The Mingla County People's Court heard how villagers Kang Wan Nian and Gao Zhu Tiao shot and killed a tiger back in March and dismembered it the next morning with the help of four hours. Burying the skin and internal organs, they brought home other parts and cooked them. Prosecutors said the beast was an Indo-Chinese tiger, a rare protected species. No verdict has yet been returned. Now, wearing jeans and sneakers, ponytailed Liu Shasha looks like any other teenager, but give her a poor cue, and she's worlds apart. The 16-year-old recently became the youngest ever winner of the World Nine Ball Championships in Shenyang, Liaoning Province. She is the second player from the mainland to have taken the title following Pan Xiaoting, who won in 2007. Liu outshot two-time world champion Liu Xinmei from Taiwan, Pan Xiaoting and Topsy Karen Kaur from Britain on her way to victory. Liu grew up in a farmer's family and now trains for eight hours a day, but has been playing seriously for just four years. Ime Nyama from France has been crowned the 21st Miss Model of the World at the International Grand Final in Shenzhen in Guangdong Province. A total all of 66 models paraded through various stages of the pageant, wearing evening gowns, swimsuits and their national dress. Originating in Istanbul in 1988, the contest brings together dozens of the world's models from Europe, Asia, Africa, the Americas and the Pacific region. 20-year-old Nyama, who stands 5 foot 11, succeeds Ukraine's Maria Yakmuk as the new Miss Model of the World. It was the sixth straight year that the competition has been held in China. And that's today's Media Watch. Indeed, that's all from the team here at BUN News. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.